Jane is from South East on track. And Joe, your group is always highlighting the challenges for people who use rail services in the South East. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Emer. How are you keeping? I was just very interested in your Vox Poc. I think it uh, fairly represents, I think, what a lot of commuters across the other parts of the southeast would also feel. Um, our group has been established. Uh, we've been up and running for a couple of years. And I suppose we, we developed out of uh, a campaign to retain a rail service between Wexford and Waterford. Um, I think maybe in the southeast, I think we're mindful, first of all, as both Dublin has massively dominated and drawn commuters in. But as our population changes and as our urban areas outside of the greater Dublin area are, are starting to expand, there's also need, I think, to appreciate that there's commuting in other directions. And just as maybe in Carlow and Kilkenny, you have people who will gravitate north towards Dublin, there is a growing number that will be uh, commuting uh, towards Waterford. And we do have in the South East still, in compar- comparison to other parts of the, the country, a reasonably uh, good rail network, which has a huge potential to deliver people in uh, to work and to services, to access services, uh, education, a university and hospital. Um, and uh, we should, I think, take a, a wider look and we should look at perhaps maybe developing, as we would feel in the South East, regional rail services, developing um, lines into uh, regional uh, cities and towns. Okay. Where do the greenways sit with you, Joe? Because in terms of innovation, they're a brilliant idea. But um, but one of the big questions I suppose people would ask on the other side of that, on the negative side, would be um, some of those old rail networks. I mean, their original purpose, uh, it would be wonderful to see them being used for that. We're, 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 we're not against ra- greenways at all. Um, our our uh, view is in relation to services on lines that are actually up and running. Right. Unfortunately for many towns, the decision was made many years ago and there is, uh, you know, uh, disused lines and there's land that has a possible other use where the line has been lifted. And we would have no problem. I think it, it, uh, I've walked the greenway in Waterford. It's beautiful and it's a fantastic resource. And soon we'll have a, a greenway through South. Uh, Kilkenny up as far as New Ross and that's going to be wonderful and in fact we would argue that actually you should extend that into uh, Wexford where the railway line originally went over to Ireland Scorthy and up towards Boris and uh, you know and we should have this uh, uh, network one doesn't exclude the other and certainly no one would be suggesting that our main lines uh, would be closed or, or used for, for greenways we, we see railways as having Having a huge uh, positive impact into the future in terms of delivering a better quality of life. You know, listening to people on, on the Vox Pop there when they're saying about, you know, maybe, and, and I think I heard one of your contributors say a train at about maybe, I think, a later train after eight. Our last train down here to, to, to on the Rosnair route is 6.30. So, you know, we want to see more train services delivered on the lines that are presently there. And certainly I know that the government intends to rebuild build in some parts of the, the country railways, but there's no suggestion that the greenways uh, that are presently uh, okay. up and running would be restored or returned. I, I just don't think it's practical. Yeah. And I do think that You're there's right. a Maybe North that Island... that ship has sailed or that train has left yeah, the station. Yeah, that has, the train has left the station, I'm afraid. But look, you know, uh, you know, we, we, we still have a reasonably strong network. There would have to be a business case. And, you know, quite frankly, we've made the business case in relation to the Waterford uh, Wexford line. We would love to see, for instance, because you have a university now in the southeast, we would love to see more students using rail to access colleges. Accommodation has been a huge issue in the last 12 months. You know, why not say have a railway uh, connecting Carlow to Waterford over to Wexford and back up to where there's a second campus for the university uh, and one in Wexford to be constructed and another one in Rathenew. Rail can connect that. Right. Or, you know, I, I, I have a son who works in State Street. There's no direct service between Wexford and Kilkenny and, you know, either bus or, or train. And 
that's quite extraordinary because, you know, Kilkenny City has a population well in excess of 25, nearly 30,000. Wexford is 22,000. It seems very, very hard to think that, you know, it's extremely difficult other than going through Waterford to go uh, directly uh, to, by, by, uh, by from, from one uh, major town okay. to another. Thanks, and Joe. I'm, so, I'm so sorry we, we have to leave it there, all. I'm afraid. But thank you very much for your thoughts this morning. Joe. Not at all, Emer. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very much. Cheerio. Talk to you again. See you. Bye. Thank you, Joe Ryan there from South East on track.